Good morning. It's Tuesday, June 23rd, and you're watching World Watch News in 3. More and more businesses are opening back up, and we're seeing signs that the economy is beginning to recover. Now, we still have a long way to go, and that's especially true for one industry in particular, the airline industry. Measured by security screenings, air travel has now doubled versus its low point in April, but here's how low that low point was. Suppose this is air travel last year, which was one of the best years ever. For every 100 passengers flying then, only four flew in April. When I say that has doubled since that time, what I mean is that what was four is now eight. And that helps to explain why airline companies are doing everything they can just to survive until passengers return to bigger numbers. They're saving money by parking airplanes. Half of all commercial airliners are now parked. They're simply not flying at all to some airports. They're also seeking money from investors, so they have cash to pay the expenses they can't avoid. Many airlines around the world are turning to government. Germany's Lufthansa is seeking a bailout, but the government proposes one-fifth ownership of the airline in return. Later this week, the owners will meet to decide whether they will accept the German government's proposal. Egypt is making a desperate appeal to stop Ethiopia from choking off the Nile River. It's turned to the United Nations Security Council for help. The people of Egypt and Sudan rely on the Nile for their lives and livelihoods. Rainy season has arrived in East Africa and with it, the tipping point of a serious conflict. Ethiopia has now completed its Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam on the headwaters of the Blue Nile, source of 80% of the Nile's water. Well, it's ready to begin holding back the river's flow to fill the hydroelectric dam's giant reservoir. Now, in a nation where half the population can't flip on a light switch, that's the first step toward generating a lot of electricity and a lot of income. Ethiopia wants to fill the dam in just six years. Egypt and Sudan want the dam filled slowly, maybe 15 years, and that's about how long the three nations have been fighting over this project already. Our third World Watch Turtle story in a week. Is this the Tour de Turtles? No, but this is. And this is Maisie, recovered from a virus. She'll be joining the real Tour de Turtles in August. Seriously, there's actually a turtle race. And she's off. The Tour de Turtles is a way to sort of educate people and raise awareness through a kind of an exciting, you know, being able to track and follow these turtles. And track them you may. Here's this year's leader, Turtleby, a leatherback. Macy will officially join the tour in August, but as you can see, at about a third of a mile per hour, she's made some pretty impressive distance. Mount Merapi in Indonesia erupted not once, but twice on Sunday, shooting columns of ash and smoke nearly four miles into the air. The two blasts happened just 14 minutes apart, laying a haze of ash across central Java. Eruptions like this usually only happen every few months around the world, but Merapi is one of the world's most active volcanoes. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm The Big Bash. Do make sure that you subscribe right there. It's free. It's going to let you know whenever we have a new program for you. And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand. We'll see you tomorrow.